Now remember that paper 2 generally has level 3 and 4 type questions. So there is a little bit of extra thinking involved in terms of approaching these questions and in terms of your answers. Also, um, it is important that you take time to read the instructions at the beginning of the paper and this will give you more information as to how you present your final answers, for instance, rounding off, etc. Question 1, we are looking at 1.1. There's an information box given to us. Spoo is a 56-year-old minibus taxi owner. He lives in Johannesburg. He earns a basic salary of 42750 per month and contributes 7.5% of his basic salary to a pension fund. He is married to a marshaler and he pays for both their medical aid. An extra age shows the individual tax rates for 2019-2020. Clearly we can see that this is a taxation question and they've referred us to annexure A. So remember your annexures are found in what is called the addendum and the addendum has all the annexures which you will use, the resources which you will use to answer each particular question to which they direct you to use certain annexures. So if we look at the annexure, we can see that there are individual tax rates presented to us and there are tax brackets. At the top of the table, there is an heading called taxable income and rates of tax. This section here is what we consider our tax brackets. Then below that, you will see what is known as the tax rebates. Now remember, rebates is what the tax man will give you back. So remember that this amounts will be minus. Now there's primary, secondary and tertiary mentioned here. So you look at the age groups when you're dealing with this, but you'll get the information from the information box which we read. So this will tell us what to focus on, whether we are focusing on primary, secondary or tertiary. And then lastly, we get at the bottom, we get medical aid credit per month. Now this is depending on what the person has paid for in terms of each individual, whether he's married, whether he's got children, and then you use that to calculate in terms of the medical aid. 1.1.1 states, determine SPOO's monthly taxable income. Now the method in which you work the taxable income is you take the basic salary and you find first the 7.5% which is the pension fund and you need to subtract this. Once you subtract the pension fund contribution and then you will work with that amount. So by looking at this question, we see the information in the top that Spoo's basic salary is 42,750. So we're going to take this and find 7.5% of it because the pension fund is 7.5%. Now remember, it's basic salary minus the pension fund contribution. Now when we take 42,750, times 7,5%, punching this into our calculator, we get 3206,25. Now, remember that this portion here is the amount that is called the pension fund contribution. So we need to subtract this. So subtracting this, we take 42,750 minus the pension fund contribution. And our final answer will be 39,000. 543 rand 75 cents. So it's important to remember that these are the steps when you're working with monthly taxable income. You'll take the basic sal salary, you will find the pension fund contribution and subtract it. Now it's important for you to look at what the question requires of you. In this particular instance, the question requires that you sort out SPOO's monthly taxable income. Now, if they are to ask you to work out SPOO's annual taxable income, then after working out these steps and you arrived at 39,543 and 75 cents, because they've asked you to work out the annual, you will multiply it by 12. And therefore, this becomes SPOO's annual taxable income. But in this particular instance, the question requires that it be monthly. So we are working with the monthly figures. So this will be our final answer. 1.1.2 calculate is annual tax payable now notice you the word there is annual so similar to what i've just explained to you now they're focusing on the annual so our focus will be to convert the amounts to an annual 
income so all we need to do is we've worked out the monthly so remember there are 12 months in a year so we take the monthly income which we've worked out in the previous question 1.1.1 and we multiply this by 12 so it will be 39,543 and 75 cents times 12 and we arrive at an answer 474,525 now it's important that you remember that this is the annual income but the question states calculate is annual tax payable now this is where we use the annexure which they've given us so we look at the annexure and we see the tax brackets that's presented to us remember i explained to you which is the tax brackets now what we need to do is we need to focus on the amount that we worked out which is the annual tax income which is 474,525 now looking at this tax bracket on the annexure we look at those amounts where it ranges from 0 to 195,000 and number 2 says 195,000 going on to 305,000 and so on so we focus on these individual brackets and we see which column or which row would this 474,525 fall in now looking at this we can see clearly that it falls on the tax bracket 4 now if you notice there's there are numbers 1 2 3 and 4 all the way to 7 these are the individual tax brackets the numbering of it so when we look at the tax brackets we see that 474000 will fall in between the tax bracket 4 which is the range is 423301 all the way to 555600 now keeping this in mind we know that our annual income will fall in that bracket so all you have to do is follow that same row and look at the right hand side where it says rates of tax exactly what is written on that side there you will write as your first step in continuing 1.1.2 so we've worked out the annual taxable income and thereafter now we will work with that entire statement which we see on the right hand side the one way it's under rates of tax so it will be hundred thousand two hundred and sixty three plus thirty six percent of taxable income above four hundred and twenty three thousand three hundred so that's the statement we'll be working with and I'll explain that further so once we've chosen the tax bracket in which to work with and we've chosen that statement on the right hand side which begins with the hundred thousand now there's something important when it comes to that statement the part where it says 36 percent of taxable income above 423 300 now this is very very important all it means is that our taxable amount if you look at the annual taxable amount it is 474 525 so all you need to do is take that amount and subtract it from the part where it says above 423,300. When you subtract these two values, you'll get an answer. Now that answer, you need to find 36% of it. Going back to the tax table, you, the one the annexure presents, you'll see the word 36% of taxable income above. Now remember the word off is times, it's multiplication. So you need to find 36% of the amount that you worked out, which is the difference. So thus far you will have 100,263 plus 36% times 474,525. This is the amount that we worked out, the annual income, minus 423,300. This is where... The statement says above in the tax table so when we get this difference we multiply it by 36 percent and you will get an answer now remember that answer you will add it to the hundred thousand right at the beginning when we do our calculations we see that we arrive at an answer hundred and eighteen thousand seven hundred and four now remember this is not just the final step we need to continue further because explaining the tax table i did mention to you that 
there are rebates that we need to subtract and also the medical aid that we need to work with so in subtracting the rebates we need to look at the information given to us in this story now in the story it starts off with saying spoo is a 56 year old minibus taxi owner so this is what we look at we look at the age of the person when it comes to rebates now if a person falls under 65 because if you look at the tax table in the annex here given to you you'll find the first adding there is primary now primary has no ages written next to it it's because the person has to be from 0 to 64 they obviously would be under 65 years old now if you look at secondary it goes from 65 and older and tertiary would be 75 and older so because spoo falls under the primary column which because his age is 56 so we only look at the primary amount so looking at the primary amount we will subtract this from the total that we've got thus far our total thus far is 118,704 we will subtract the rebate of 14,067 rand and our answer will be 104,637 the next thing that we will have to subtract is called the medical aid credit. If you look at your tax table, you'll see the heading called medical aid credit. Now there are three amounts presented there, one for the main member, one for the first dependent, and there is each additional dependent. So this would be kids and so on. Now how does this work? This works basically if you are looking at your story, you'll find that Spoo is married to Amashle. Now this is two adults we are speaking of. So Spoo is the person whose tax we are working with. So he will be the person who is called the main member for the medical aid. So if you look at your tax table, there is a heading called main member and the amount is 310 rand. Then his wife Amashle will be what is known as the first dependent, that's an adult. And that will be an additional 310 rand. There's no mention of any kids in the story from the information in the question, the box that we looked at. And we will just take this amount and we will subtract it. But remember something that's important for you to realize that the 1.2.1 started off with annual taxable income. Remember they said work out the annual tax payable. Now if you look at the medical aid credit you will see it is done per month the heading there is per month so when you subtract you need to subtract for the entire year so you could use two approaches here you could take the main member amount 310 multiplied by 12 and the first dependent amount which is the 310 as well and multiply it by 12 and you'll get your two amounts for the entire year add them up and you can subtract it from the total we have thus far or you could add up these two amounts, which is the main member plus the first dependent, and you would get 620, and you multiply that by 12, you arrive at the same answer, and you subtract it from the amount we have thus far. Remember, the amount we have thus far is 104,637 Rand. So we will subtract this, we will minus the 620 times 12, and our final answer for this question will be 97,000. 197 rand so the steps that we would follow here when it comes to taxation would be firstly to look at the basic salary then we will look at the pension fund contribution which is 7.5 percent so we will work out that of the basic salary and we will subtract it once we subtract the pension fund contribution we get an amount and then when working out the annual tax we take that amount all right after subtracting the pension fund contribution and we will multiply it by 12 for the year because the word is annual and we arrive at an answer for the entire year which is known as the annual taxable income thereafter we will fit this into the tax bracket now tax bracket is found on the tax table which will be given to you in the exams and you look at the tax table and you look at your annual taxable income and you slot it into one of the tax brackets as i've mentioned earlier thereafter you will subtract your rebates then you will subtract 
your medical aid remember rebates you look at the person's age you will subtract your medical aid you look at the amount of dependents and the main member as well and then you arrive at your final answer the annual tax payable i've spent some time on this question because learners tend to fear this question but as you can see if you follow the steps mentioned and look at the problem placed to you and the information given to you because there will always be information given to you in regards to these steps follow them through and you will be awarded the marks accordingly